Well, you know, there's a German expression, Aller Anfang ist schwer, of all beginnings are hard. There were things about doing that that, that were quite a bit harder than I expected. <laughs> Let me see if I can mention just a few of them. Uh, the nails did not simply sink in to that wood as if it were celery. Uh, it's, it's fairly green, but it's not fresh. So I had, to, I had to take more care. I had to start the nails on something solid. Uh, another thing, I need to do more prep work to get the corners close to acceptable before I put the corner boards on. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, I, I should say that material, that, those are feed sacks. I have hundreds and hundreds of them that I've saved, and that's going to be my windbreak. It complicated things a little bit putting that on, but I wanted them underneath the uh, the boards. The two pallets that are on top, I just they're they're the weak, flimsy ones. I'm going to be using these real heavy ones on that particular pig cabin, uh, but I put them there to give a little bit more stability and also to give a chance to take a look at what's it going to look like. Um, what else? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It, anyway, it was... <laughs> oh, and I got to get stuff out from under my feet before I get started. Tripping over stuff and uh, bending down because I couldn't stand up straight while I was doing it. There's another thing. Uh, the uh, four befores are of different lengths. Some are 96 inches, some are 98. I knew that. Uh, and I, I'm using that. I'm going to make it basically 98 inches by 98 inches because I can use that. But they're here and there. They're, I need to sort of get a plan for that so that the corner boards will be plumb. Uh, and they're also different uh, thicknesses. So they don't necessarily lay level. The material is, is quite different. But, you know, when I get them for 33 cents basically a piece, you can't ask for too much more. I'll see if today, uh, this afternoon, I can uh, do the next two corners. We'll see. Not much of a change, but uh, that went way easier. I have a good bit better idea what I'm doing now. There. Uh, at least it's symmetrical, <laughs> sort of. Uh, the log construction begins to look like timber framed construction, which is sort of false in a way because those are just scabbed on by nails, but they have a purpose for sure. I'm not sure uh, what to say more. Well, if you want, you could try to imagine now that area uh, the pallets that are on there are, are just light junk ones uh, to occupy space before I put the heavy solid ones on. Uh, but imagine that with two feet uh, wider and two feet longer. And there you've got the roof line, the drip edge of what's going to go over basically in a 64 foot square uh, footprint. And, uh, I, think, I think it's 192 square feet would be the drip edge. Well, something to think about. Anyway, I, I guess I've got this figured out. It, it was a little harder than I thought. Oh, and imagine an X right in the middle of that, a big X. That'll be the braces. There'll be one on this side, one on the other side, one on the end. And where the door is, I'm not sure what I'll do it. You know, I'll, I'll I'll do something to to brace it.